Welcome back, Sabule XC, right here on Cape Town TV, the best entertainment show in the land where we bring you nothing but the best of education and, of course, entertainment. I'm Alam Salajay, but I know as a Fliki. We're taking you all the way up until 5 p.m. It's going to be nothing but the best of giving you good local content. Speaking of local content, right about now, on the yellow couches via Skype, we all know we're trying to keep everything um, social distancing. We're joined by Utemba Mahalimele, who is a fashion designer. He's worked with one of the biggest brands in the country and of course working different um, fashion shows and fashion productions. He's here to tell us more about his journey and what we can expect from him in 2020, let's rather say in 2021, because yeah, it's quite a, it's quite a rough year in 2020 because of the e gap and of course the Corona um, virus. Temba, welcome on the show. Hey, how's it, how's it, how's it guys? How's it, Nala? How are you? We are so good. Thank you so much for joining us. We all know these are very difficult times. People are locked um, inside. Um, you can't go anywhere except shopping, um, essential services. Um, before we talk about Utemba and, of course, your journey within the fashion industry, tell us how are you keeping yourself entertained indoors? Wow, it's a, <laughs> it's a tricky one, man. It's a tricky one because it's... Uh... It's both a physical and a think, mental situation happening here. I try to watch as much movies as I can, you know, I think try to relax. Yeah. But also, I eat a lot. I eat a lot, and I the trips, the trips to the fridge, uh, you know, <laughs> they're more often than not. So, like, so like, they're very tricky. Yeah, I'm sure that's one thing most people are doing. Going to the fridge each and every two minutes to look for something that you know is not there, but you're hoping it's there. But... Tell us about Utemba Mahalimele, born and raised in Free State. Tell us a bit about who you are. Let's take it back to eGenesis. Right. Um, I am born and bred in the Free State, like you said. Um, I'm a Gemini. Uh, I'm, I'm currently in the fashion industry, but then I have a marketing background. Yeah. Um, and my journey has been... Yeah, it's been a very crazy journey, like into this industry, man. Like it happened by mistake, actually, and uh, it, it's a funny story. <laughs> yeah. But I'm I'm loving it. Yeah. You say it happened by mistake. It's a funny story. We'd love to would love to hear the story. Tell us how you tapped into the fashion industry. What made you tap into the fashion industry? Okay, so um, I'm a fashion. Uh, so, like in my marketing journey, I was a, a marketing coordinator for yeah. the second biggest eyewear distributor in Africa, and we had brands like uh, I think Lacoste, Diesel, Levi's, yeah. uh, like a lot of brands. Uh, Chloe, you know, uh, uh, that's where my my love for fashion happened. And then, like a friend of mine who's a fashion designer, she wanted to go to uh, fashion week and then she she didn't have a place to stay because like i'm based in Joburg. yeah and then she came through and then, uh we couldn't afford tickets we couldn't afford tickets so like so like i told her you know what let's apply to be interns and yeah. then we can then be in the people you know what i mean and um yeah i got selected to be an intern and then i hooked her up and then from there i just fell in love with the industry and i just i quit my job my well-paying okay. job, and then to be an intern, and um, I never looked back. And then once the uh, fashion week was done, they actually called me back to say, "Hey, we saw your work. We really want to take you on a permanent basis. Can you do the? Can you do production?" Yeah. And I'm like, "Yeah, sure. Why not?" Yeah. And then that's it. Yeah. Why? What? What is it about you that you think after the internship, in, even though you didn't study fashion, because there's so many people out there who studied fashion, even though you didn't do fashion at school and and, and college. What, what is it about you that made the company, after internship, say, you know what, we'd like to take you on a full-time basis? No, man, it's the work ethic. Yeah. I, think, I, think, I, I think it's the work ethic and the, the passion and the love for, for what you do. So, um, I, I, I think, like I said, I've been in love with like, uh, brands and, and, and fashion while uh, doing marketing. Yeah. And then uh, th once I got the opportunity, I just... I, I think grabbed it with both hands and like I never looked back. Yeah. Um, marketing is a full-time job, which means you can work in a company and get paid uh, a monthly salary. But when it comes to fashion, it's something that can be on and off, on and off. In your early 20s, you decided that, okay, fashion is something that you'd love to do. When you were taking that decision, 
But what was going through your mind? What inspired that whole entire decision of saying, I'm quitting marketing as whole, and I'm definitely going to um, focus more into the fashion side of things? Mm -hmm. That's a very good, very good question. So I think what we need, the, the misconception that most people have is that the fashion industry is the clothes you see there yeah. on, on like fashion shows and, and on the rail or whatever. That's not that. It's actually like a like a huge industry. I mean, uh, we got the the retail part of it. We got the textile at the at the part of it. We got the yeah. uh, um, the fashion show production part of it. You understand? So like it's all these uh, uh, I think different parts that have come together and form a whole industry. So what what I realized once I went in is that there's so much to do in the industry. Hence, I decided to focus not on the fashion design, yeah. but on the fashion. And the, and the fashion production part of it, understand? Yeah. So, yeah, it's been a very nice journey, and I think um, it really like did um, open my eyes to to uh, new ventures and uh, uh, new avenues. Yeah, let's talk about what you're currently working on. I know it's quite a a bit um, tough times in around the globe, and we can't really do much. But what is Temba currently working on at the moment? Right. So, um, like I said, I'm a fashion producer, but I also direct for, uh, the, uh, the photo shoots, yeah. music videos, and, and but then from a fashion perspective, it's been it's been very tough, man. More so with the lockdown, it's been uh, I think very tough. Uh, therefore, as a person and, and as a brand, you have to reinvent yourself. So right now, I'm busy with uh, I think corporate events. I'm doing like a lot of uh, I think corporate eventing. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Not much at, at the fashion events because the lockdown has really um, it took a toll on the uh, the fashion industry. You know. Yeah. How would you rate the the the, the scale of a fashion in Africa? Would you say Africa is doing good? We keep up with the trends when it comes to, to to fashion. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. We are the trendsetters. I mean, I think it's high time that we stop looking at yeah. the the Western uh, in the the, the the Eastern calendar, and we just focus on Africa because we have our the the one thing that this lock the, the thing COVID nineteen has done within the industry is to say hey you as Africa you as South Africa you as yeah. Africa have your own voice and have your own calendar you understand that so we are we are trendsetters I mean the, for uh, for the past like uh, five to ten years you saw how African print has 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 uh, broken barriers you yeah. saw how like big clothing yeah. brands have actually used uh, print to uh, to communicate to thing to um, their customers and yeah. to do uh, clothing. So it's, it's and, and to run campaigns around that. So yeah. we do have a voice. We are we we are trendsetters, and I, I feel like the fashion industry is is growing here. It's, yeah, it's growing. For someone who has no idea about the fashion industry, um, what is a fashion producer? What does a fashion producer do? All right. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I'm sure like everybody who's in the fashion industry or the, the lifestyle industry is aware of a fashion week. Yeah. Um, so what you see there on TV, uh, you see like a model come out and go back and you see music and lighting and go like, oh, this was a great show. I love the clothes. My job is to put everything together from the models to styling of the clothes, to the lighting, to the music, to the set design. So, so the entire creative of uh, uh, I think Fashion Week is what I do. Yeah. Well, my I so so like it's not a one man job. I can tell you that. So it's it's yeah, it's fun and it's a lot of work, a lot of uh, things sleepless nights, but it's worth it. It's worth it at the end. Yeah. Are, are are fashion shows, fashion weeks, still relevant? And how do they help fashion designers? Hmm. Look. Uh, Fashion shows are a marketing platform for for designers, and yeah. they they should be viewed as that. But then it's no secret that for the past um, ten odd years or so, the fashion in, the the fashion show themselves have been at, 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 at declining because of the use of technology. You yeah. know, at, at, uh, designers feel pretty. They don't need the, the fashion shows because they can do something on Facebook or on uh, the gram or Twitter or, or uh, uh, whatever the case may be. Yeah. So um, I think uh, this lockdown has really exposed a lot of us in the uh, eventing space, fashion eventing space, uh, uh, mostly when it comes to fashion weeks. And it's going to be tough to recover, but I don't think they're as relevant as they were before. And they need to just reinvent themselves.
Yeah. Who are some of the big fashion designers in, in, in South Africa, in Africa, across the globe that Temba would love to work with? Across the globe? Oh. <laughs> well, okay, let's start in Africa. I, yeah. I have worked uh, through my because I was at African Fashion International, which, uh, as, as, as most people know it, is Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week. Yeah. I had the pleasure of directly working with some of the big names and stars of Africa, like I've read, I've read with the likes of David Saleh, yeah. um, uh, Marianne Foster, like Marianne uh, Foster, like a lot of uh, uh, designers. But then from a, a creative and a campaign point of view, I would love to work with them again, yeah. and again to work with the likes of um, Gavin Raja and and. and. And internationally, um, I I love Burberry. I love Burberry. I, I I like. I would love to work with Burberry. I, I would love to work with Off White. Um, Virgil Abloh has, has has done some amazing thing in the street fashion yeah. industry, and I would definitely love to work with him. I definitely love David Lally. I feel like he he is he is a legend within the fashion industry. He's done a lot. Even if he was to say I retire, I would be like. You absolutely did a lot. Quickly, if someone is interested in fashion, they are fashion designers, and they'd like to know more in terms of how they can um, participate in fashion weeks, in fashion shows, and they'd like maybe some advice from you, how do they get in touch of you? So I've, I've done like a lot of platforms. Like I said, I did Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week, I did Free State Fashion Week, I did Gesotho, I did some shows in Botswana. So it's... it's, it's um, how I think uh, 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 designers need to look at uh, fashion shows and uh, fashion weeks as just part of their marketing plan, but they're not only focus on that. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do with technology. Yeah. I mean, you can have like your uh, uh, virtual fashion shows on the on the internet on the, on um, the ground. So I think uh, 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 the young designers more so they need to focus more on that rather than fashion shows and fashion weeks because yeah. they're quite expensive. They're not free. Yeah. Is there money in the fashion industry? Can fashion designers make money quickly before I let you go? I know for sure. For sure, there's money in the industry. I mean, it's just, like I said, like it, 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 it depends on how you brand yourself, you know? Yeah. I see like a lot of young people now that are doing like masks, uh, but then they've got like a bundle where they do like a cap and a mask and they do like, a, like swimwear and a mask. So they, they're forever trying to reinvent themselves and really try to, to take advantage of what is happening right now. Yeah, well, Temba, thank you so much. It was an honor having you in the show. Um, keep yourself entertained and mentally healthy throughout the lockdown. You absolutely need fashion producers after all this is going on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nolo, and uh, thank you to the XA team, and I'll see you guys real soon. Thank you so much. That was, of course, the incredible Temba Mahalimela all the way from Echao Dang. But right now, I'm going to take a quick music breather. This is a song about the coronavirus. Let's take a look at this. We'll be right back with more Kasumui. Awesome